Video number two covering Super Booth 17. Um, right now, we're going to be looking at a product, prim primarily one product, a module from a company called Clavis out of Belgium. Belgium, you know, where they make great beer. Well, they also make decent synth modules, it appears. Um, talking, he's got two products out actually, Eric from, from Clavis, and he's mostly going to be focusing on one which is called Twin Waves. Not to be confused with Twin Peaks, which just came back on the air here. Anyway, Twin Waves is what he calls a VCDO, which I initially thought a voltage-controlled digital oscillator, but the manual says voltage-controlled dual oscillator, and it actually does have two oscillators in the one module. Now, the cool thing about it, even though it's digital, and some of you guys are saying, digital, man, that sucks. It's got a plethora, there's a big word, a plethora of algorithms to help shape that digital wave. And I think, as you'll see in the video, it's got some pretty cool sounding options. And as I proved in the video where I ran my Casio CZ1 through an Erebus filter, sometimes it's not the waveform as much as it is the filter that shapes that sound and makes it cool. So sit back, relax, enjoy this video from Superbooth, looking at the Clavis Twin Waves module, and I will enjoy my Port City Metro Red beer. Okay? Cheers. We are here at Clavis Fine Modular Designs. We are talking with Eric. He's going to tell us a little bit about what he brought. Yeah, hello, welcome. So we are a, a new brand on the market of modular synthesizers. We, we right now have only two products directly available, which are a dual oscillator and a small logic module. You, here you have two of each. And I will tell a bit about this oscillator, which is split into two sections, each with its own dedicated jacks. So the first oscillator we get like this, with these controls, and the second one like that, with these controls. Each of them can be put in modulation mode, LFO mode, when it's split here, like it's the case here. So we, as we see, we generate an LFO modulation, which is showing up here. And otherwise, when you are AO, Joe, you can choose whatever algorithm to create the sound you want. And with each of them, you can modulate the parameter by hand, of course, but also with the voltage from the outside. We have a quite a long list. We have 20 different algorithms each creating a different sound synthesis system. We, are, we, are, we, are, we have here something like uh, additive, phase distortion, ring modulator, we have noise with filters, we have bit crushing, uh, self-sync, and some of the algos are themselves using, creating more than one oscillator. In fact, in additive mode we have seven, and in, um, in, the, in the unison so we are stacking five of them. What I mentioned is, is also true for the second oscillator, so they are independent, they, they, live on, they each live their own life. And um, when, you, when you want to control the sound, you just select which one you want. You have the icon of the, of the, the algo that you have selected, and just in case you have a doubt, you can have a long press to see the name scrolling up on the small screen telling you what you are seeing at the moment. So, I will, for the purpose of the demo, I will put in place a small self-modulation somehow using the second section which is now creating a regular triangle wave as you could see here on this slowly flashing LED and I will inject it to change the parameter and so from now we have the actual sound of the machine being modulated by a regular signal. And we can see it on the small scope screen here, which is just used as a validation tool here in the demo. And for each, so back to the audio section, and for each of the sounds, you will hear what's happening. So here we have phase distortion. So I'm 
selecting a few standout waves like triangle to so and things like that. And then we have things less usual like this one or even the additive I mentioned before already. And we go, this is three square oscillator and you control the detune here. And here are the, the five so. Some bit crushing of the sign and the sync waves, which are quite aggressive. Close. And triangle. And then we continue with the, the sign. As you could see here, the wave is uh, phase reverted, so we go through zero, and the, the, phase, the sound is really played backwards, which allows it to have no cut, no sharp cuts. So it's very smooth. The usual ring modulator, which is like tuning a radio. And then the, the noise algorithm, where you have low pass with resonance, or band pass, which can go very whistling, or a really dedicated one, which is uh, the resonating noise. So we have very quickly covered all of the algorithm. As for the LFO side, we have uh, standard things such as triangle, so, sine, square. But then we have more unusual things such as uh, uh, vectors, which are avoiding the stepping typical of sample and hold. And for these one, for example, we have Brownian control, which means that the range of the randomness can be deliberately reduced so that what results is a variation which is more like the fly of a bee than purely random. We have both, we have two quantizers, one of each oscillator that can be set independently. When you are in LFO mode, you can do external clocking with uh, independent division and multiplication ratios. And I think I've covered it all. Okay. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Um, Looks very interesting. I'm starting to expand into modular, as I think we've already discussed. And uh, I look forward to playing with it a little bit. So, again, thank you very much. Thank you.